Hey everyone, it's Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and today I'm here to talk about cruise fashion. I get a lot of questions, um, especially from new cruisers, on what to wear on a cruise, um, especially on elegant or formal nights. Um, you know, they're worried that they're going to be not dressed up enough, overdressed. So I am here today to give you a few options on that, as well as maybe a few things, type of clothing to wear on regular other nights to dinner and just around the ship in general. So let's get started. Here is a dress I wore a couple cruises back on uh, one of the formal nights. It's a black um, dress. It is like a knit. It's got, I don't know if you can see it really though. It's got some little gatherings here, um, but it is knit so it doesn't wrinkle, easy to pack. Um, you know, you can kind of See the back there, it's kind of crisscrossed. Um, you know, it's just simple, it's very comfortable. I could easily wear it all night long, go to the show after dinner and, and stay comfortable all night long. Uh, let's see, you can either put maybe some black shoes with it uh, or some gold shoes. You can do something like where, I would probably wear this like black tennis bracelet with it um, if I wore the black shoes or just some gold kind of bangle bracelets with the gold shoes. I have some little, you can see, dangly black earrings there. And it's simple, elegant, and I'm ready for the night. Okay, so now let's move on and I'm gonna give you a few other ideas of, of types of things to wear. So let's go. Okay. And I'm back. And now I have a kind of a brownish color dress. It's like a knit dress. It's got kind of some jewel looking stuff here that makes it look a little nicer. I have my gold shoes on, which I wore with the black dress as well. And if you can bring two dresses that go with the same shoes, that will eliminate some of the packing and you know, you only have to bring one pair of shoes. So that's always a good thing to kind of plan your outfits to one pair of shoes. Um, and this, you know, I just kind of, you can put some little gold bracelets here with it or something simple, you know, a simple necklace. You know, I have some, I don't know if you can see, little dangly earrings here that kind of match. So you can just keep it simple. I try not to bring real expensive jewelry on cruises anymore. I've never had anything lost or stolen, um, but I just like to keep it simple. So I tend to just bring a lot of, um, maybe just a couple <clears throat> necklaces or things to wear. I don't wear a lot of necklaces on, besides dinner, you know, out to the ports and things. I don't normally wear necklaces, uh, but I bring a lot of bracelets and things, just things that can kind of accessorize the outfits that are inexpensive. So there you go. Just got a simple back here. Just a, I don't know if you can see it. Just a, a plain back. And there you go. There's just another option. All right, here's another option. This is actually one of my favorite dresses because it is so comfortable. It's um, like a shiny little knit. Um, doesn't wrinkle, the back's, you know, fully covered there, so you're a little more covered up. You're just comfortable in it, and it's, you know, after dinner, if you want to go to a show or anything, it's just, it's just a really comfortable dress just to hang out in all night and not have to worry about changing. Um, this one also goes with those same gold shoes. I tend to um, pick shoes that are comfortable kind of like slip-on type, things that are comfortable. You do a lot of walking around the cruise ships and having uncomfortable shoes is just no fun. Getting blisters on your feet, everything. So tend to think of something comfortable. Just see this have little jewels on them, but they're just cute and comfortable. So, and they will go with all those dresses as well. The last three dresses I've shown you, the black one, the previous one and this one, I've gotten all three from venus.com. Um, the black one, actually, they, I think they still sell online. The other two I haven't seen recently. I've had them all for probably over a year now or so. But, um, like I said, I just love this dress. It's got this little 
don't know if you can see a little detail here like this. So it just looks nice. My husband hates this dress. This is like the worst dress for him. He just hates it. And it's like one of my favorites. I just love it. It's so comfortable. So there you go. Another little option of ideas to wear. You can accessorize it with some inexpensive little gold bracelets as well. Earrings. Same thing. So there you go. Okay, and here's another option. I actually purchased this at venus.com as well. And I brought it on a cruise, a couple cruises back actually, to wear on one of the elegant formal nights. But I just ended up not wearing it. We ended up not going that night. So I've actually never worn it. Um, it's really, it doesn't really it wrinkle. It's, it's kind of supposed to look a little wrinkly. So <laughs> that works. That's kind of different. It's, I wouldn't say that this is the most comfortable dress that I own though, but I will probably take it one of these days and wear it. I don't know if I'd wear the necklace with it or just kind of leave it with no necklace, but you can just kind of put some little gold bracelets, little dangly earrings. And once again, this goes with my gold shoes. So there you go. And it's simple, it's knit, easy to pack. Okay, and we're back. I have another dress here from Venus.com, which you probably think I purchased all of my clothes there, but I don't. Um, the, the last few I've showed you have been from there. I've, I've really liked some of their um, dresses lately because a lot of them are knit and they're just very easy to pack. They don't wrinkle. Um, I've been buying a size medium and they just actually fit, fit really well. So. Um, although the last dress I bought from there did not fit because it was supposed to be a long dress and it was way too short, so I had to send it back. But anyways, there you go. It's got these kind of cute little, whatever you call it, <laughs> little buttonhole things with the chain. It's kind of different, I thought. Um, once again, you know, it can be worn with the gold shoes. You can kind of wear some plain black shoes. I also have these shoes. I don't know if you can see them here. Let me see. They're black and white, so they kind of actually go nice with it as well. You can kind of accessorize it with, you know, some black earrings, probably something black and white, whatever, gold, just kind of with whatever. It's very comfortable, easy. It, you know, it looks kind of elegant, but yet you could probably kind of dress it down and just kind of wear it as a nice lounge type dress as well, so. There you go. And I have not worn this yet on a cruise. I don't know if I said that, but so I might bring it this next one. All right, there you go. Okay, here's the next dress. It is a navy blue. It's um, kind of a knit as well, but it's just a little nicer of a knit. It is a little more of a formal dress. It's very plain looking in front. I wasn't too sure about it when I first saw, saw it, but then let me see if you can see the back. I don't know if you can really see it. I fell in love with the back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, the gold. I actually have um, some pictures from a cruise where I wore this. I'll attach them after this part just so you can see the back better. But I actually love this dress. It's very plain but elegant looking. And it also kind of goes with the gold shoes as well because of the gold trim around the back. You cannot kind of accessorize it with gold or probably any kind of navy jewelry but there you go let's see, let's see if you can see the i don't know if i can get up to the where you can kind of see the gold up close there but there you go okay and we're back with one last long dress for a formal elegant night. Oh, I won't turn it that way. I don't think it'll, again, I have the gold shoes on. Um, you can wear this with black or gold shoes. It kind of goes with either. Um, black's always a good color um, for a elegant or formal night. Um, it just, you know, it looks slenderizing. It always looks nice. Um, 
You know, you could pick the same dress in black versus another color and black's just going to look, you know, more elegant, fancy. So black's just always a good color for a nice evening out. So there you go. This dress has little open areas. It's got like a tan slip underneath of it. So, but there you go. So next I'm going to show you a few um, short dresses that can be used for um, elegant or formal night as well. The second night on the ship on a seven day cruise tends to be a little less formal than the first night on most cruise lines. Uh, so people tend to wear longer, more dressier dresses the first night. The, the second night, a lot of times they just wear a nice dress, you know, so to speak. So I'm going to show you a few nicer dresses that you can kind of dress up, make them work for elegant night. Um, you know, you could wear them also on a regular night, although it may look a little too dressy for a regular night, depending on what cruise line you're on. So there you go. Up next with some shorter options. I'm back with a shorter option. I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see. It's um, this is like a kind of like a rayon type. It's not um, it's not really completely wrinkle free, but if you kind of roll it in your luggage, um, it won't really wrinkle too much. So I think you know, and then you hang it up when you get in in your cabin, and it should be fine. Um, but this is really comfortable. It's actually very comfortable. I just, um, I haven't worn it yet on a cruise. I plan to take it on my next cruise. I purchased this at JCPenney's and actually I got this on clearance and then with a coupon I got for like $11 and some change. So I, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> I love it. It came in several different colors and I just thought this was kind of different. Um, I purchased, let me see if I can zoom in here. I purchased these shoes kind of to go with them. I didn't want anything too high because I like to be comfortable, like I said, so, but I needed something kind of white to go with. So I got these kind of little wedge, little shoes. So there you go. And you can kind of accessorize it. You can put some nice gold or gold kind of bangle braces with it or just, you know, something simple. But this is something that could go for either a regular night or a formal elegant night. Um, it may be, a, like I said, it may be a little too, too dressy for a regular night, you know, but you can kind of dress it down. You could put some, you know, flat sandals with it or something as well, and it would look a lot less fancy. Or you can, like I said, put some higher heels, accessorize it up and make it look fancy. So there you go. This is one of those kind of dresses you can use for either but I plan to wear this probably the second elegant night of our upcoming cruise in October. So there you go. All right, here's another dress that you can wear. You can kind of dress it down with some flat sandals, um, wear on a regular night, or you can dress it up a little and wear it on an elegant night as well. Um, once again, I have my if I can zoom in here on it. My gold shoes here that I love. <laughs> or if you look up close, it's got some, it looks a little nicer there. And it's knit as well, so it will not wrinkle. It's great for packing. You can roll this thing up and it takes up virtually no space in the luggage. So I love it. <laughs> I've had this dress actually for probably, um, I, I want to say like four or five years and I still love wearing it. It's just very comfortable. It kind of pretty much stays in style. It's just simple. So there you go. Something like this is, is great for a cruise. Okay. Here's a nice, just simple black knit dress. You can kind of see. It's just like a t-shirt material, just knit. Short, and you can do a lot of things with this. You can accessorize it. Um, you can wear this anytime on it. You can make this, dress it up, 
for formal night. You can also dress it down just for any night around the ship. And let me show you here what I usually do. Okay, I do something like this a lot of times. It gets tends to get a little chilly on the ships at night. Um, so I usually like some kind of a little sweater over a lot of my things. So I'll take something like this and just kind of wear it over, over it. You know, it looks nice. Um, I have this necklace on. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. There you go. So, I actually made that necklace. I like to make jewelry in my spare time. That's kind of my hobby. Um, anyways, so, and like I said, you can wear some nicer, like nicer shoes. Um, or if you're not wearing it on a formal night, you just want to wear it on a regular night, just put some nice flip flops with it that you can wear and you're good to go. So you can kind of dress it up or down. This is a nice option. Like I said, takes up no space, roll it up, throw it in your luggage. You're good to go. Okay. And I'm back with this show you up close here it's another knit dress <laughs> you probably will never see me in something non-knit <laughs> it folds up small as well like pink dress a little different color um, have this little sweater on with it as well it's um, a sleeveless dress but this is something like I said and it, and and maybe just bring um, bring one maybe two little sweaters of some sort something that you can wear over most of your dresses either get like white or tan or black something that goes with most of them that you can just wear over at night for the dining room or later in the evening uh, because it does like i said it does tend to get chilly around the ship if you're someone that um, normally gets a little cool then i would definitely suggest you bring something but you know you can accessorize it you know put something like this on mainly to kind of spruce it up a little, make it look a little dressier, or you can not wear anything, you know, kind of down lay it there. Um, I have these, I got these to go with it before I have these, if you can see them, pink shoes, they kind of look good with it. Um, you can also just wear black, black shoes too. I have these nice wedge shoes. So either way, and this is very comfortable, simple, but looks nice. That's, that's really all you need to do. Just keep it simple, bring a few accessories to spruce your things up on Elegant Night, and you're good. Okay. Just enjoy yourself. Now here is an outfit for anyone that wants to dress a little nautical, <laughs> I guess. Now, I don't know, I purchased this more of just an everyday, like a dress just to wear to dinner on the cruise ship, but I felt like it was just a little, I don't know, too much. I wasn't really sure, and it, but it's not doesn't seem to be dressy enough to wear on an elegant night. Anyways, so I actually let me see if I'm close here. I made this necklace myself. Let me see if I can zoom in because I thought, and it's I don't know, it's kind of ugly too, I think, but in a weird way, it kind of got a bracelet too, goes with it. Um, but I couldn't pass it up. I saw this one day at TJ Maxx and it was on the clearance rack for like 10 bucks. So I was like, oh my gosh, that looks nautical. I gotta get it. So I got it and haven't worn it since. But I might bring this on my next cruise too and wear. It's just, it is very comfortable. It's knit. Um, you know, I think having the necklace, it kind of spruces it up a little bit and just kind of breaks all this plainness up here. So anyways, tell me what you think of it. I'm just really unsure on this dress, but I just thought it looked nautical and had to get it. <laughs> so I thought I would share this one with you. All right, well, we are done with the elegant dresses, formal dresses. So now these, are, I'm just gonna show you a few things that I wear to dinner on just the regular dinner nights in the main dining room. Um, I try to keep it comfortable, simple. People don't really tend to get dressed up that much anymore on the um, 
more common cruise lines, I guess, such as Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, and Princess um, on the regular nights. Uh, some of the others, they still tend to dress up um, like Canard, Celebrity, that you will still find them getting a little more dressed up on the regular nights. But anyways, so this is what I wear. This is knit. This is just a very simple dress. Um, I will wear this to dinner. And one nice thing is you can wear this to dinner. And since you don't wear them for a long time that night, you know, you can also use it sometimes the next day if you just want to go to breakfast in the main dining room or you know you just need to throw something on really quick to go do this or that around the ship you know you can rewear it or something you know you probably aren't going to get it dirty so um it's easy to pack once again it's knit doesn't wrinkle take up space so bringing a few dresses similar to this just this type of thing you know you can't go wrong with they take up you can Pretty much, if you brought a lot of stuff like this, you could probably just pack a carry-on. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is the best way to go. Just simple and comfortable. Okay, here's another simple knit dress that I would just wear on a regular dinner night to the dining room. I just put some dressier flip-flops with it and easy to pack. Like I said, you can wear this the next day to breakfast or whatever, throw it on, and you're good to go. Let me show you a couple, I don't want to try like everything on for you, so let me show you a couple other um, dresses over here that you can, that would work for, let me come over here. I also have this dress, which I didn't try on, let's see if you can see it, it's, um, let me put it out and try to back up here. Um, this dress, you can actually dress up. It's a really nice dress. You can dress it up on an elegant night as well, a short dress. Um, and it looked really cute. I wore it once and I actually put my black and white shoes with it. And since it has the black and white hair, it looked really cute. Um, so there you go. That is like an option. Here's a couple more things just to wear around the ship. You could wear this to a regular night probably with some dressier um, sandals. You can also just wear this to breakfast around the ship or just hanging out around the ship. It's a simple little knit dress there. Um, and let me show you another simple knit dress here. Let's see if you can see this one. This is really cute. It's black. Let me see if you can see it. It's got the little cutout sleeves here so it looks really cute um, and you can wear it for a regular night to dinner um, or it's something you can just throw on around the ship you could also just wear it over a swimsuit it's just really can be used for a lot of things I got um, these on clearance at JC Penney's they actually still have them uh, I've got a blue and white striped one a gray one and this black one I got several colors because they're just so Versatile. I mean, you can just use them for so much. I mean, I love those things. You can throw them in the wash, the dryer. They don't wrinkle for packing. So they are great. Um, also, let's see. I have this dress here, which is also a cute dress for dinner. It's kind of flowy and has the scarf type thing. Um, and it's not really, it's that rayon that doesn't wrinkle as well. So that's something that would look really nice for a regular dinner as well. It's just kind of a longer short dress. Um, I also have this here. Let me show you. I've worn this several times on a regular dinner night. Um, it's a longer dress, but it's um, not real formal, but it's just... Um, a knit too. Let me see if I can, and it's a long dress. And it's easy to pack and comfortable. And like I said, you can rewear it the next day if you need to to breakfast or around the ship. So there's a few other options there. Um, now I'm going to go into um, show you a few more things that you can just pack to wear. You can wear them to, they're a little more casual. You can wear them to dinner. Um, you can also just wear them around the ship during the day just to get some ideas okay. of what to bring. Here's like another option. This is something um, 
Usually on embarkation day, I will wear something like this, like a skort or something to get on. And we usually wear, actually we usually wear our Sharon at Sea <laughs> um, shirts. But then when dinner time comes, we don't always want to wear those to dinner. So I usually bring some kind of a simple top that I can just put on with my skort to wear to dinner the first night. And this is what I actually wore last cruise, I believe. I um, Actually not last cruise, we were in Alaska, the one before. Um, but I just brought this simple knit blue top. Looks kind of nautical and I have some little blue shoes here to match. But I wore this um, then, but you can wear something like this any night to dinner too. This is perfectly great for dinner, perfect. Um, also, you can wear things like, you know, like I'll take the skorts and bring things like, let's show you a few things. Like I just have this little anchor tank top you can wear with it during the day. You're not supposed to wear tank tops to dinner at night, but during the day is fine. I also just, just regular kind of plain t-shirts as well. Um, those aren't very fancy, but you will see people wearing those into dinner with a skirt or even nicer shorts and things as well on the regular nights. So, um... I have some little shirts like this sometimes I'll bring to wear. I have a black skirt, I'll um, bring that to wear with. Um, sometimes I'll bring like just a little knit skirt you can wear with a, sw over, with a swimsuit or even just throw a tank top on with it during the day just to run around the ship. Um, you know, here's like another like little skirt I have and with a little yellow t-shirt there something like that. And those are all good things just to wear to dinner on the regular nights. They're just easy, comfortable. Like I said, you can bring a skirt or something, bring a couple different tops, you know, wear one to dinner, bring a tank top or something to wear with it the next day, you know, and just make a couple outfits out of it, eliminate your packing. So there you go. That's just some options. I would suggest on a cruise, seven day Caribbean cruise, you bring um, if you plan to go to the dinner, the elegant dinner, formal dinner, you bring two dresses. Um, if you can get the same pair of shoes to match both, that's great, less packing. Then bring five dinner outfits for other nights. Um, you may not use them all, but um, you know, there's five other nights, so I would bring five outfits. And then just bring some simple stuff or, to wear around the ship, shorts, t-shirts, tank tops. Um, things like that during the day or to get off in ports, bring swimsuits. Um, I usually bring, usually I bring four swimsuits on a Caribbean cruise um, because they don't, you know, you can dry them, but they don't dry that fast. Um, whether you hang them out on a balcony or in the bathroom on that little clothesline they have, um, with the humidity, they just do not dry fast. And I don't like putting on a wet swimsuit. So I usually bring four, uh, but because we also do a lot of, um, water activities in the ports. Usually most every port, we have some type of water activity as well. So we'll wear our swimsuit under um, shorts and a top, or I'll wear my swimsuit under like a, just a like sundress or something. So, um, you know, I bring that, bring your shoes, bring some flip flops, bring your tennis shoes. If you plan to do any activities that require tennis shoes, um, and you should be good. And one last thing, I'm going to show you one last, little thing I love. Okay, here you go. I purchased this scarf to wear, um, gosh, last winter actually. So I saw it online and I thought it'd be great for our Alaska cruise this summer. Has the little anchors on it here. Um, and you can wear it for, you know, for other things. Anyways, the weather was so great on our Alaska cruise in May that I never even got a chance to wear it. So, I decided I'm gonna have to wear it um, another way. So I am gonna take this on our next cruise. It's great for just kind of wrapping up around your swimsuit if you wanna go grab something um, around the pool or whatever and you don't wanna to have to go get fully dressed, you know, you can kind of wrap up and it's like a cover up and it works out really nice. Let me show you a few things you can do with it. Here's one way you can wear it. And here's another way you can wear it. It's kind of the same way, but it's just opposite, the anchors are on top. You can wear it like that. Um, let me see if I can figure out some other ways. It actually came with um, a little pamphlet that had like 10 different things you could do with the scarf, ways to wear it besides just around your neck. Um, and it was really cool, but I 
misplaced it. So <laughs> anyways, but there you go. Let me see what else I can find to do with it for you here. Oh, I also, I purchased this on Amazon and it was, I think like 10 or $11. So I'm not sure if they still have it or not. Okay, I don't think I quite did this right, but you can also kind of wear it like this, tie it around with a little tie up here, do something like that with it. There's another way you could kind of crisscross it across your whole body too. It's kind of okay. cool. Then of course there's the old little skirt cover up thing as well. Okay, and I figured out the little thing where you crisscross it, something like this. There's different ways you can do it. But you can also bring it up, crisscross it around your neck, bring it around the back. And there you go. Lots of things to do with this scarf. And then of course, when the weather's cold, you can just wear it as a regular scarf, several different ways around your neck as well. So there you go. Okay, and I'm back. And here you go, here's the other way. You can use the scarf as an actual scarf. <laughs> if you're going on maybe an Alaska cruise or you live in the cold weather, it will come in very handy. So there you go. Um, and this dress here, I'm gonna be bringing on my cruise in October. I purchased this at the end of last summer um, at Old Navy and I just love it. It's um, comfortable, it's like a linen material, so it's kind of wrinkle free or at least has the natural look wrinkles. <laughs> um, so, Something like this, you can wear it at dinner in the dining room, you can wear it around the ship during the day, to breakfast in the dining room. Um, so it's a, something like this is a good option to bring as well. So hopefully this was helpful to all of you new cruisers out there um, and you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything else that we can do for you, any other videos we can make that you're interested in. Um, have any other questions? Just leave them in the comments below and we will be sure to respond. Until next time, happy cruising!